For now, the Great Barrier Reef will not be placed on the World Heritage Danger List, according to a report by the United Nations. But that'll only stay that way if Australia commits to protecting the reef, which will mean restoring the water quality and restricting the development of new ports. To ensure the reef stays healthy, experts need to keep an eye on coral spawning, the reproductive process where coral release bundles of egg and sperm for fertilisation. When you look at what's going out there in the reef and, and coral spawning per se, I, I guess you could look at it as a, as a health of the, of the ecosystem, if you will. Obviously, if the corals don't spawn, then there's something wrong with them, unless they've got themselves out of phase. Um, you know, when you look at it, though, the whole reef is going at one time. That's got to be an indication that, that at least from that point of view, it's up and running. The coral reef is the world's largest marine park made up of 600 islands and around 3,000 coral reefs. But conservationists have warned the outlook for the reef is poor. For the reef to remain out of the danger zone, Australia needs to reduce pollution by four-fifths within the next decade. That way, we can all continue to enjoy its natural beauty. Amazing is the sheer joy that people get from this experience. There's just nothing else that even comes close to a minky whale encounter. They are amazing. The final decision of its status will be made at a World Heritage Committee next month.